Hello, my name is Anastasia. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I have my master's in teaching. Um, I've taught for six years. The last five years were in kindergarten in a Title I school setting. Today, I want to show you a math warm up. I love doing math warm ups right before a math routine and before the math core lesson. It really helps students shift gears to start thinking about math and it also reinforces some important math skills and concepts that kindergartners and first graders and, and preschoolers are all developing. So this math activity um, are flashcards one through 10 and the learning targets are one, I can identify numbers one through 10, and two, I can represent numbers one through 10, showing them on my fingers. So before we get started, um, I love to go over expectations at the beginning of every activity, and I'll have the students say um, these expectations with me while also pointing to these body parts. So step number one, eyes are watching. Step Number two, ears are listening. Step number three, we say each number. Then what happens is I invite a student leader up to the board and their job is to cue the students, to cue them on when to say, uh, say it, and then when to have the students show the number on their fingers. And I teach the student leader to not move on until they see all fingers up in the air and they have said the number. So this is what it looks like. Say it, three. Show me. Say, oh. Say it. Nine. Show me. Say it. Ten. Show me. Say it. Two. Show me. Say it. Seven. Show me. Say it. Six. Show me. Say it. One. Show me. Say it. Four. Show me. Say it. Eight. Show me. Say it, five, show me. Nice, and those are numbers one through 10. I also wanna go over some other activities you can use with these same slides. For example, you can have students practice partners, um, partners up to five. So um, for example, let's stay on this side right here. And I'm gonna go again with, say it, five, show me. And then I would ask students, can you show me five a different way? So the students might put one on one hand and then four more on the other hand. And then I'd affirm one and four are partners to make five. Nice. And let's try that again with some other numbers. And we're gonna try just sticking to numbers one through five. So skip eight. All right, say it. Four, show me. Show me in a different way. And they might do two and two. They might do zero and four or one and three, all sorts of combinations. And I might have them pause, just look around the room and notice what kind of combinations they have. All right, say it, one, show me. Show me in a different way, still be one. Skip six. Seven, ah, here's two. Say it, two, show me. Show me in a different way. Yeah, and one, and one are partners to make two. All right, say it, 
Three, show me. Show me in a different way. They might put one and two, or they might put zero and three. So all sorts of ways. All right. And another, um, another way that you can practice some other concepts, you can practice partners to 10. For example, after saying it, um, having the kids show you, um, so they show you three, you might want to ask, how many more to make 10? So we can put the three on our head, count up to 10. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, we're not at 10 yet. We need more fingers. Eight, nine, 10. So how many more did we count up to 10? Seven. So three and seven are partners to make 10. Let's try that with another number. All right, so say it, nine. Show me how many more till we make 10. Nine, 10, just one more. All right, and then it's also important, um, so it's one thing to be able to identify and say the number, but also a lot of incoming kindergartners and beginning kindergartners really struggle with forming the number. And so if we go back to the beginning, um, you can have students do say it, show me, and then air write the number for, um, for example, say it, three, show me, and then write it in the air. So we all pick up an imaginary pencil and we write the number and I might say how to form it like around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make the number three. You might have your own rhymes, but whatever works for you, whatever you like to say to help students remember. I'm gonna just do this for the rest of the numbers so that you can borrow my words if you want to or might help you come up with your own. So say it, nine, show me, write it in the air. Nine looks like this, lollipop on a stick. That's the number nine. All right, say it, 10, show me, write it in the air. 10 is a stick and a stone. Say it, two, show me, write it in the air. Two looks like this. Everybody have your pencil. Candy cane on the ground. That's how we write the number two. Say it, seven, show me, write it in the air. Seven looks like this, line in the sky, slide to the grass. That's number seven. All right, and I'm just gonna go with how, how we form it now. So six looks like this, let's write it in the air. Six looks like a magic C, finish the loop. Or sometimes I just go loop, de loop. Number one looks like just a straight line. And then I might remind students, remember number one is a number, it's not the letter L, it's not the letter I, it's the number one. Letters and numbers are different things. <laughs> All right, number four looks like this. It looks like an L with a stick straight through at the end, okay? Or you can say, pull halfway down, pull across, lift your pencil up, pull straight down. Here's number eight. Number eight looks like a snowman, or you can write it like this. Um, curve around like an S and finish by pulling it up. Or I have them write um, two circles, one on top of the, the other before I show them a different way. And number five, last number. Pull straight down, backward C, line in the sky. 
All right, so many different ways that you can say these numbers. Um, I hope these activities were helpful. I'm going to include these slides or where you get them in the description below and also add the um, Common Core State Standards that these activities align to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.